This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So uh, we will be starting our next topic that is service contract. Okay. Contracts basically. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what are service contracts, introduction to service contracts, use of service contracts, why, why we need to use these contracts, you understand. Then introduction to service products. What are service products? Okay, why they are used, you will understand. Significance of service products. Then we will create a service product in the system. Creation of service product first, and then followed by creation of a service contract. We will create a service contract. We will understand the structure of the service contract, how the service contract structure looks like. Then the contract data in the service contract. What is the data available? Okay. Then assignment of technical objects to contract, like your equipment or functional location to the contract. And then assignment of service contract to notification. Ultimately, this contract will be assigned to the notifications. We will see that. And also assignment of service contract to service. This also we will cover. So these are the topics we will be covering in the contract okay so first we will start with the contract so basically we will understand what is service contract okay normally uh, whenever a company uh, produce products and sell the products to the customer they will have some long-term agreement with the customer long-term agreements covering particular services are concluded with customer so normally the company will have some agreements with the customer Okay. So service contract is a long term agreement concerning the content and scope of services that are to be performed for a customer. So after selling the product to the customer, we have some agreement, some long term agreement with the customer that I will provide these services to you over a period of time. So that is called service contract. Okay, I'll just give you a real time example. Let's say you have an apartment. So in the apartment, uh, you have normally a lift. Okay, so that lift apartment people, uh, they will purchase that lift from a, from a vendor. Now, we are the customer, apartment people are customers, apartment is a customer, they bought that lift from a vendor. So now apartment people will ask the vendor, you come every month, once in a month, and you do the servicing of the lift okay so this is like a annual uh, this is this is like a maintenance agreement so you have an agreement let's say for this one year every month you come on a particular day particular date you come and do the service so the, the the contract period is one year so those kind of things we are covering it today okay the customer is invoiced regularly based on the terms of the agreement and also you will have an agreement that uh, every month you will make the payment to the vendor vendor so that is uh, that is basically comes under contract okay services are performed within the framework of the agreement that are either only partially built or not built at all sometimes you don't make the payment to the customer at all or sorry customer will not make any payment to you you provide the service but still you will not uh, customer will not make any payment i'll tell you this one suppose let's say you purchase a water filter okay water filter let's say customer gives a, a service that a agreement that the first five years we will come and change the filters uh, water filters after every six months and he is not going to charge anything to you. or sorry uh, he is not going to charge anything to you that means you, the customer will not make any payment Okay, so that kind of things will happen. So that contracts we are talking about today. Okay. So basically in a service contract, you define to whom, for whom you are providing the contract. Okay. In which period, like what is a total period? Okay, like 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 normal scenario is one year generally. Which services, what services you are going to provide? Okay, and conditions, like whether the uh, every month they have to pay or it, uh, it on which date they have to customer has to make the payment if at all you are invoicing the customer all those things you will maintain in the contract okay so a service contract 
describes which services are to be performed for which ob objects under which conditions. So normally a service contract has for whom that means this refers to different kinds of customer to which customer you are uh, with which customer you are having the contract like sold to party ship to party bill to party those things in which period the period is determined by information regarding the contract validity period and cancellation time. so when we create the contract i will show you then the which services these services are described by service products in the service in the contract so basically what services you are going to provide that you will maintain okay that we will create a service product and then conditions these include the contract fees that must be paid regularly so you you ask the customer i am providing the service you have to make the payment uh, uh, make the fee uh, regularly so all these you will maintain in the contract basically okay so before creating the contract first we need to create service product okay so what is service product service product is nothing but the service service services you are going to provide to the customer a company provides various services to customers and these services are represented and described using service product in the system so this is not a physical item you are not selling an item to the customer you are just providing a service so those things are created in the system using service products service products this is not a physical material you are selling to the customer okay so that let's say annual maintenance Okay, suppose let's say in our case diesel generator so every month they have to come and do the service okay so that is called service product the service product is a service that can be sold and that is performed within customer service okay like example is best example is inspection of your car okay you can use the sales order and the service order to process this service tax we already covered this actually sales order and service order both we have covered okay from a technical perspective the service product is a metal master record with material type 10 die so you cre you create a metal master for this service product okay uh, the, normally the most relevant material type used is dien or you can use a new material type called serve also serve also this also you can use in s4 hana they have introduced a new new material type called serve this also you can use okay you can perform billing on the basis of the flat rate flat rate price of the service product in the sales order or on the basis of the cost that arisen from the service so for the service product you can do two types of billing either fixed billing fixed rate billing fixed billing or resource related billing based on the actual cost incurred both are available both options are available this already we discussed flat rate uh, 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 billing and resource rate billing we already discussed that okay so now first we have to create service product normally the standard material type is used is dien for this there will not be any inventory management because it is not a physical material just it is a service and the item category group will be leis service without delivery so here there is no delivery because it is not a physical material you will do order related billing okay normal physical materials in hd they will do delivery related billing but here you will do order related billing okay so now let's let's uh, create a service product first okay i'll go to the system okay so let's create a service material like i might have created already a material but let's do the copy I believe I might have created a new material. Uh, suppose here we have a diesel generator installation. This we have created as a service product. Now what I will do, I will use it. Uh, I'll create a new service product using this one, but this time DG service. Okay. So let me. I'm creating a service product. M01. Okay. Go to industry sector. Mechanical engineering. Material type DIEM service you see material type is service to save the time i'll copy from the existing one click on select views 
okay basic data one and two you need sales views also okay mrp one two three four okay scroll down okay accounting on it organization levels these are the ones I'm copy from the existing data okay continue what distribution channel we used does it got deleted a bit Wait, this is the problem in the systems they delete everything Wait, this material Wait, this material is created for which organization just wait huh? three one created right it is available right one seven one zero ten sales or distribution channel okay somebody change the settings okay I'll, I'll, I'll do it in the config beta go to enterprise structure definition sales and distribution sales office sales okay wait on. go to assignment sales and distribution set up sales area somebody deleted everything huh Okay. Let's create one seven one zero ten zero zero. Okay. I created a sales area. It's okay. Now you should not get the error. The company code does not exist for sales organization one seven one zero. I don't know who deleted all the data. Company code, okay. Assigned sales organization to company code. 1710 is there already. It is assigned. What message are we getting? Data. Let's start again. 